Wash away my troubles, wash away my pain With the rain that shone my love Wash away my sorrow, wash away my shame With the rain that shone my love Oh, yeah, 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 yeah Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone is helpful, everyone is so kind Out on the road Here are the chords that are needed. To play this song, you can make choices about whether to play a riff or rhythm in different positions during the song. So I'm going to show some of the chords that you can choose to play. So there's two different E's, two different D chords, an A with a C-sharp bass note, and three different A chords that you can choose from. Let's take a look at some of these chords on the guitar. If you're going to play a rhythm, you can play open E to an open D to an open A. You can play here on the 7th fret, E to the 5th fret D to the 5th fret A. For the second part of the song, you can include this 9th fret A chord here, down to the D chord, bottom 3 note form there to an open A. I'll talk about that a little later. If you want to play the riff, you can change some of these chords a little bit. So the E, you only need to play the bottom two notes. And the D, you only need to play this note on the third fret, second string. And then A with a C sharp bass note, down to an A. I'll talk about that coming up. If you listen very closely to how the main riff is played in the recording, you'll hear some minor differences from one time to the next. In this video, I'll show two of those variations, and then I'll talk about some general keys to help play the riff. Here's the riff the first time it appears in the song. Here's the tablature for the main riff the first time it appears in the song. I'll show two different variations of this riff. This will be considered the first variation that I'll show in this video. The lines are the strings of the guitar, and the numbers on them are the frets that are played. Here's the riff the second time it appears in the song. Here's the tablature for the second variation of the riff. The only real difference I notice when I listen to it is that you hit this first fret note here, and then the second fret note is part of this sweep. Also, you're holding E chord a little longer, so instead of hitting an open note here, you're hitting still that first fret note. Here's both variations of the riff played slowly. that I keep in mind to help me learn this riff was the direction that I hit the E and D chords when they come around. So when it starts off you hit and I'm on the E chord but now I'm going to go down. So in other words from high strings to low strings. And then I go to the D and my, my arpeggio there is in the same direction from high strings to low strings. And then I go to the A with the C sharp bass note to the A, and that's half of the riff. And then the other half, so there I'm going in an upwards direction. So I'm hitting low strings to high strings, 
and the same with the D. So the first half of the riff I go to from high to low and from the second on the E and D chords and from the second half of the riff I go from low to high on the E and D chords. There's a rhythm guitar part that plays during the verses, sounds something like this. Wash away my troubles, wash away my pain with the rain that shine by love. Wash away my sorrow, wash away my shame with the rain that shine by love. What's happening on that rhythm is I'm playing the E chord with the sixth string, the fourth string, and then strumming the high string. So it's like and then the D is, so it's high strings, and then upstroke on the lower strings, and then to the A chord. So there I'm hitting the A chord, and then I'm hitting strings two and three, and then I'm adding this note here in the fourth fret, third string. You could also play that rhythm on the 7th fret E chord like this. Wash away my troubles, wash away my pain With the rain that shall below Wash away my sorrow, wash away my shame With the rain that shall below The second part sounds like this. What I'm doing on that part is I'm starting off with this high note here on the 12th fret of the 5th string. So this is an A note, which is an octave higher than if you hit an open 5th string. So I'm hitting that note. And then I'm accompanying this little chord here, this A chord on the ninth, with that open fifth string. So it sounds like, and that's the first line. It goes, How does your light shine in the halls of Shambhala? So that little D chord, and I'm doing that little picking pattern, which is strumming the bottom four strings this D chord, this three note D chord that I'm making, and then strings two and three. So it's strum, two, three, strum, two, three. And then I go to the A, open fifth string, and then I'm hitting one, two on that A chord. So it sounds like, how does your light shine in the halls of Shambhala? In the halls of Shambhala Tell me how does your light shine In the halls of Shambhala If you don't want to play that more complicated version you can just do an A chord and a D chord like this How does your light shine In the halls of Shambhala Tell me how does your light shine In the halls of Shambhala Tell me how does your light shine in the homes of Shambhala? There's a little riff that plays at the end of the second part. It sounds like this. Here's that riff played slowly. Here's the tablature for the riff that plays after the first chorus. The rhythm guitar part adds some cool little lines during the fade out of the song. It sounds something like this. What I'm doing 
there is I'm playing on the E chord, so six, four high strings, and then D chord, fourth string, strum the chord, hit the A chord, and I'm hitting the two, uh, strings two and three, and then I'm adding this note on the third string, fourth fret, for the first go around. Then I'm going to hit the E again, same thing on the D, hit the A once, and then I'm going to play this little riff. So that little riff is starting on the 4th fret 5th string, up to the 2nd fret 4th string, 4th fret 4th string, 2nd fret 3rd string, back down to the 4th fret 5th string, 2nd fret 4th string to the 4th fret 4th string. So it sounds like... So that comes like this.